Now the question here is which of the following is not an advantage of modified Widman flap procedure. So here we have the images these are from Carenza okay so here in the images you can see uh, in the B image here you can see there is bone loss angular bone loss basically and in the A figure you can appreciate that the interdental papilla seems to lose their contour as well as they looks inflamed okay so these are inflamed or we can say fibros also over a period of inflammation can lead to fibrosis right then we see that there are deposits here okay deposits on the roots okay and they need to be uh, cleared as soon as possible right so uh, if we just uh, try to get an overview of different flaps before coming to this question so first of all the flaps which we use in periodontology there are three purposes okay there can be all the three purposes or there can be one of the purposes so i'll just tell you about the generalized thing about the flaps so the flaps are used or these are raised for increasing the accessibility to root deposits okay so if you get the better accessibility to root so the to root deposits can be easily removed from the root and it can be clear the second thing is elimination or reduction of flaps or, or sorry pockets elimination or re reduction of the pockets now i'm not talking about the modified between flap it is a generalized thing about the various flaps used in periodontology then if you want to expose the area to perform regenerative surgeries for regenerative methods so these are three purposes which are generally intended while raising the flaps now uh, our main flaps which we use are modified widman flap now this modified widman flap is used only for gaining the access access only and it doesn't have anything to do with elimination of the pockets okay then we have undisplaced flap now this undisplaced flap is used for gaining the excess as well as elimination of the pockets okay then we have apically displaced flap apically displaced flap now this particular flap is also used for gaining excess as well as elimination of pocket so you can remember these important flaps because this can be asked the exam now coming to our modified widman flap now this modified widman flap is generally intended at exposure of the root exposure of root okay so that you can remove the debris the plaque or whatever calculus which is not easily uh, cleanable they are getting the direct access can help you to clean the roots properly right now it doesn't attempt at reduction of the pocket depth okay remember although some reduction can be achieved uh, in this particular technique flap technique but still it is not intended whatever reduction in pocket depth occurs that is due to the shrinkage only okay so doesn't attempt pocket elimination or pocket reduction although some reduction can be there that is purely due to shrinkage now another thing which occurs here it removes the pocket lining in this uh, technique we remove the pocket lining okay so uh, I'll show you the important horizontal incisions which are used in the modified Widman flap. There are three incisions which are used in modified Widman flap. Your first incision is your internal bevel incision or reverse bevel incision in which you incise the, you give the first incision at a level 0.5 to 1 mm from the margin of the gingiva. Okay, so this distance is generally 0 0.5 to 1 mm and the bevel has to be placed is the internal bevel incision or the reverse bevel incision. Then 
the second incision is made at the crevices and it is known as the crevicular incision so this is the crevicular incision now you can see a uh, pedicle of the uh, tissue is remaining here okay and this is the pocket lining of course this would have been the pocket so it is the pocket lining so by giving the third incision which is also known as the interdental incision you are removing this tissue that is having the granulation tissue as well as that is having your pocket epithelium or we can say the pocket lining right pocket lining so you are removing it and then finally you are placing this on the roots this particular healthy uh, tissue on the roots and then you can suture it there so this is uh, a broad overview of the modified windmill flap and in this we can always consider that the modified windmill flap is used only for gaining the excess it can remove the pocket lining it can remove the granulation tissue and if you open it if you get the access to the roots you can get the access to bones as well and you can recontour the bone or you can do some of the regenerative procedures by using the modified windmill flap now coming back to the question here so if you see question let's read the options now the adaptation of healthy tissue to the root surface so here yes this is correct because uh, we are removing the granulation tissue by removing the uh, by eliminating the pocket linings as well as some amount of the granulation tissue or some amount of the tissue of the pocket and that's why we are adapting the healthy tissue to the surface okay the second thing the second option is feasible procedure when implantation of bone is contemplated yes if you want to contemplate or if you want to uh, think about uh, putting the regenerative uh, procedures right you want to uh, build a bone there so you have to get the direct access and that can be done by raising the modified bitmen flap so there is no problem in this also so it can be used when implantation of bone is contemplated the third one is the thins the inflamed papilla yes you are removing the granulation tissue as well as some part of the tissue is being removed and that is going to reduce the inflammation as well as overall thickening of the uh, uh, complete flap is reduced because we are removing a part of the flap from there right so that's why thins the inflamed papilla will be a correct uh, statement now coming to the four true eradication of the pocket now this is completely wrong statement in modified windmill flap we are intended at getting access only and we are not intended at elimination or the reduction of the process uh, of the pockets and that's why although some shrinkage can occur and some reduction of the pocket depth can be seen due to the shrinkage but that is not our intention that is not our purpose and purpose while doing the modified windmill flap surgery so the option uh, the statement which is not uh, in the context of modified windmill flap is your fourth statement that is true eradication of the pocket which is not seen in the modified windmill flap 